All right here's the frame reinforcement section that goes in here. Um, this is bolted in right now. This is what holds the independent rear suspension in. And so it's held in with four very large half inch bolts on each side. So we fitted it in, drilled holes, mounted it. Uh, we may, after we've test fitted everything and, and gotten very happy with it, remove it, clean the metal out, put it back, and then do some welding work just to make it even stronger. All right, so now we have Joe assembling the independent rear suspension. So he's placed the carrier um, in the housing, and then the next step will be to put these shaft joints in here, and those get locked in. They've got a bearing. They go in here, and then you'll do these CV joints, one on each side. Then you have your outer hubs that go over that, and that's what, of course, the brake system and the tires go to. So this is a very, very slick system. Excellent. So as you can see, the independent rear suspension setup is slowly coming along. The uh, axle shafts are inside the carrier with the ring and pinion which has been mounted. I'll show you from this side. The carrier bracket, this is going to bolt to the frame of the car. you got your top carrier here. Joe's now working on the CV joint to go in. And we have the arms hooked up. Now everything's left loose, nothing's going to be tightened yet until we get it all assembled. And then we'll use a transmission jack to actually lift it up into the car. And here's a CV joint installed. Now we got to do some arms and etc, but we're getting closer by the moment. Right, so here's the independent rear suspension for the Mustang. Boy is it a piece of art, look at this, beautiful, beautiful. Do a little walk around here. You can even see it's got the uh, emergency brake calipers here. Step back. All right. Now we'll put it in the car, test fit it. All right, so here is uh, Joe Mann's plan for using our lift and straps to test fit the independent rear suspension. Yes, it's your plan. That way, if anything goes wrong, you get to tell the customer, sorry about that $11,000 rear independent suspension. Anyway. Uh, this should work, so let's give it a shot. So now we're starting to test fit the front suspension, as you can see here. Very nice. Got that on both sides, and then we just assembled the shocks. It'll be going on. Very nice looking. Coming together. And so now the front suspension is being test fit and installed. So again, let me make sure that everyone watching this video understands that that whole rear setup and this whole front setup will be coming back out of this car so that we can do the sealing of the bottom of the car and do all the paint and trim work needed for the engine bay. But it's very important to make sure that everything's going to fit well so that when it comes time to reinstall it, it's just a simple bolt-in process. Looks good. All right, the front suspension system. Rotors, this is all installed, everything but the calipers. There's no point in doing that because we're going to be taking it all back off to finish up the bottom of the car. But uh, we're going to now rotate this over, stick some old wheels on it, and be able to roll it around, but more importantly, put weight on the ground to start fitting the doors and fenders. All right, so the Mustang is now setting on some loaner tires. And let's see if I can get low enough here. Yep, you can see that rear independent suspension. And so we were able to roll her back here into the body booth to keep working and uh, setting on the front suspension. And we've been able to do a little testing and everything. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yes, everything's working. So fit doors, fit fenders, blah, blah, blah. Then flip over, disassemble, remove. Lots of work ahead. But so far, I have to say, very happy with the fit and finish on this suspension system from Heights. Uh, would definitely recommend it so far.